there's this idea that if we could just gather more and more information about the world, we'd, we'd have uh, this complete overview of it. That's ultimately what big data is. It's this view that you can get so much information that you have a total view and you produce a kind of perfect model of the world. And then instead of looking at the world, you look at the model and it tells you everything. But actually the last hundred years of computation shows us that every time that the model isn't good enough. That when we try to use it instead of the world, it, it continues to fail. That big data is always, always insufficient. And it's often overwhelming too. So it feels like we have no control. So it both doesn't work and it demoralizes us. Conspiracy theory seems to be the most kind of powerful narrative form of our time. Um, and I think that's because the world has become so extraordinarily complex. Um, it's incredibly difficult now to write simple stories about the world, which is what we all yearn to hear. And that, that desire for simple stories lies behind both the rise of conspiracy theory, but also the rise of kind of populist politics and of fundamentalisms. Conspiracy theories are, in the sense, one of these symptoms of a new dark age, where we constantly demand to be given a single answers to these incredibly complex global problems. And until we figure out ways in which we can regard the world as something that's, that's ongoing, uh, that's a process of constant negotiation, rather than the provision of kind of computational solutions to every single problem, we're continually going to run into these, these deep conflicts, uh, debates and, and, and violent arguments. So we're in this position where we've kind of completely undermined any possible trust in, in traditional sources of authority, whether that's politics or the media. But we've also spent the last kind of 50 years undercutting our own understanding of the world by making technology and, and the systems around us ever more opaque. So we're in this sudden position of having no, no authority, but also no um, ability to make critical judgments ourselves. So we're at this absolutely crucial moment where we need to kind of rapidly develop our tools of, of understanding and thinking the world in, in a, an entirely different way to make up for this shortfall of uh, authority on the one hand and a complete collapse of understanding on the other.